Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about combinations and we are told to find the value of N and R. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have two examples in finding N and another two examples in finding R. Alright, so let's start. So number one, so we have the combination N, we, do, we don't have the value of N and we are told to find N. So I hope that you already uh, know the basic solving in uh, combinations. I do have a link in the description below on how to solve basic combinations. You are just told to find the, the, the combinations or the number of ways. So, but this time, this is quite tricky since you are told to find the value of n. So, we already know that the formula in, find, in the, the combination formula is c is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial so over quantity n minus r factorial r factorial some of the teachers they will write it like this n factorial over r factorial quantity n minus r factorial this is actually the same class okay i just um, exchange the r factorial with n minus r factorial this is actually the same so we will use this one so, if you substitute the value of this 3, uh, this 3 class is our R, so we can write this as C equals N factorial over N minus 3 factorial 3 factorial. Alright? So, the thing that we will do this in, in this case class, we already know that this N factorial, so example class, if we have 5 factorial. What do you mean by 5 factorial? Do you have any other clue for 5 factorial? That's correct. So 5 factorial, it means that you multiply numbers less than 5, consecutive numbers less than 5. So 5 factorial, it means that 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is the same with 5 factorial. So you multiply uh, numbers consecutive numbers less than five so five factor it means five times four times three times two times one so if if our if if n is five or we put this as n factorial if our n is five so we can write this four we can also write this as n minus one why is that sir because if our n is five just in example class if our n is five therefore n minus one 5 minus 1, this is equivalent to 4, right? 5 minus 1 is 4. We can also write 5 minus 2 or n minus 2. Okay? 5 minus 2 is the same with n minus 2 if your n is 5. If n is 5, therefore, 5 minus 1, n minus 1 is equivalent to 4. This is 4. 5 minus 2 is equivalent to 3, which is the same with n minus 2 if your n is 5. So, therefore... Okay, so therefore, this one, we can also write this as C equals, you stop at N minus 3 class so that we can cancel this one. We can also, we can also write this N factorial as N multiplied by N minus 1, N minus 2, because it is consecutive. Do not forget class that N factorial, this, these are consecutive number less than N. Okay, so we have N n minus 1, n minus 2, and n minus 3 factorial, you will stop at factorial, okay? n minus 3 factorial, it's because, once again, if your n is 5, just example class, if your n is 5, next number will be 4 in factorial, right? I, I, I said it a while ago, 5 factorial, it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And to get 4, of course, if your n is 5, you have 5 minus 1, so that would be n minus 1 to get 4. So this is n, then n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial. Then divided by n minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. So now we can cancel this one. Okay. We can cancel this one. And the remaining will be c equals n, n minus 1, n minus 2. Then 3 factorial class, 3 factorial. So, we already have the value of our C, which is 35. It is given. Okay, C is equals to 35. Therefore, we can write this one. We can write C as 35. So, 
C is 35, we can write this as 35 equals n, n minus 1, n minus 2. And 3 factorial class, it means, 3 factorial, it means 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 times 1, 3 factorial, it means 6, is equals to 6. So we can write this as 6. Then cross multiply class, cross multiply, understood that there's 1 here. So 1 times this 1, so copy, this is n, cross multiply class, this 1. Cross multiply. I hope that you already know about cross multiply. Okay. Then cross multiply. So, n, n, then times n, then n minus 1, quantity n minus 2, multiplied by 1, copy. So, this is n minus 1, n minus 2, equals 35 times 6. So, we just use the calculator. The teacher will allow you to use calculator. That would be great for you. That's good. So if not, so 35 times 6. I'm sure you already know how to multiply numbers. 35 times 6, that's 210. Alright, so 210. Now this time class is, alright, so 210. So this time, since this is consecutive numbers, do not forget that our n must be consecutive numbers. So we will try... This, this method class, we do a trial and error method. So we try three numbers that when, we, that when we multiply three numbers, the answer is 210. So let's try 3 times 4 times 5. So 60, that's small number. 60 is not equivalent to 210. So we will try 4. So consecutive numbers class, 4 times 5 times 6. 4 times 5 times 6 is 120. So... Let's try 5 times 6 times 7, 5 times 6 times 7, and we got 210. 5 times 6 times 7 is 210. So therefore, uh, this one, the number here on the left side, it must be 7. Then this one is 6, because 7 minus 1 is 6, and 7 minus 2 is 5. So 7 minus, our n is 7, 5 times 6 times 5, 7 times 6 times 5, or 5 times 6 times 7 class is equivalent to 210. And therefore, the, the biggest number must be 7. It's because 7 minus 1, n minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. So therefore, our n is 7. So our n is 7. That's it. That's how you find n. So n is, n is equals to 7. Alright, so if we check that one, Using the formula, so let's try to check n is 7. So let's try to check if n is 7. We can use the calculator. Actually, class, you can use the calculator. Okay, so if n is 7. So let's try to check that. So 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial over 3 factorial. So if n is 7. So 7 factorial. So that is 7 times 3 times 7 times, five, uh, no, times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. You will just stop at 3 class because, I uh, know, you will stop at 4 factorial because 7 minus 3 is 4. So we have 7 minus 3, that is 4 factorial, 3 factorial. Cancel this one, 4 factorial. So we have 7 times 6 times 5 divided by 3 factorial class is 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Cancel 6. So 7 times 5 is 35. So that's correct that our answer is 7. So let's try example number 2. So what if we have it right here? You are told to find n. So use the formula. C equals n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. And C is 15. So we just put 15 here. And n minus r, uh, no, n factorial, so our r class is 4, so let's substitute 4. So n, n minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So therefore, we will write, so same thing a while ago, n, then n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, and we will stop with n minus 4 so that we can cancel this one. So we have 15 equals n n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, 
Then n minus 4 factorial. Over n minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So cancel this one class. So the remaining will be 15 equals n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. Divided by 4 factorial class, it means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, let me use the calculator, or 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. Or you can solve it, calculator, shift this one, 4 factorial is 24. Next is cross multiply. So understood there's one here, cross multiply. So 15 times 24, we just use the calculator. So 360 equals n. Then n minus, once again class, n minus 1, n times quantity n minus 1, you multiply it by 1, copy. N 15 times cross multiply class. I hope you already know about cross multiply. So cross multiply. So n minus 2, n minus 3. So 360 class, we find three, uh, no, four numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four numbers that we multiply the four numbers, you will get 360. So let's have 4, 4 times, uh, let's have two, 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, 4 numbers, uh, no, it's 120. So let's try 3 times 4, uh, no, consecutive number class, 3 times 4 times 5 times 6, 360. So therefore, 360, so our n must be, the large number class must be our n, 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 is 360, therefore our n is 6, because 6 minus 1, this is 5. 6 minus 2, this is 4, and 6 minus 3, this is 3. So therefore, our n is 6. Just <clears throat> okay, so our n is 6. So n is equivalent to 6. Even if you check that one class, you will get the same answer. You can actually use the calculator class in shortcut. So let's try to use calculator shortcut. Our n is 6 and our r is 4. So 6, then shift this one, uh, shift, press the, the divide sign, NCR, you will see NCR, uh, you, you will get 6C, then 4 is the R, and you will get 15, 15 is our combination, so 15 away, so our N is 6. Alright, so I hope it's easy for you to find N, our next video class is we are told to find R, so Stay tuned. Uh, next video is we will told to we will find R. Okay, so in finding R, we have another video for that. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to share it to your friends and to your classmates. So once again, for finding R, we do it in the next video. I will just put the link on the description below on how to find R. Okay, goodbye for now. Bye bye.